King, don't be surprised if we see Michael Hayes break out into that signature strut of his at various points during this match, or maybe show off that moonwalk he loves to do. Yeah, he may love to do the moonwalk, but I'll tell you, this crowd despises it. Every time he does it, he nearly gets himself booed out of the arena. Single leg Boston Trap being applied. Very damaging submission. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. Michael Hayes is not someone to sleep on. Okay, it's been a few months since we were introduced to Kevin and Kerry's cousin. What's your take on the youngster? Well, of course he looks impressive, Cole. But something tells me that we need to get a DNA test on this kid right away. Something seems fishy to me. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. That, a move like that says it all. Yeah, you're just trying to embarrass somebody now. Michael Hayes is a force within the ring. As this match takes place in the ring, it's worth noting that the entire sports entertainment world has eyes on WrestleMania 2, which will take place in three separate locations in just a few weeks from now. Yeah, and on that card will be plenty of competitors who have made their way through world class. Most notably, King Kong Bundy, who will be challenging the WWE Champion in the main event. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Second time we're seeing this here. Cole. It's hard to believe, but this is the 20th year of this amazing promotion, which got its start all the way back in 1966. And over the years, some of the biggest names in sports entertainment have competed here in Texas. I still find it amazing, King, that Kevin Von Erich can be so effective in the ring while competing barefoot. Yeah, right. Well, Kevin definitely is a man who beats to his own drum. And amazingly, he makes it work. I don't think I could do it. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. by Buddy Roberts. Going for an encore here. There it is. Well done. What a decapitating lariat. Man, they got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads, P-A-I-N. Tossed out like a rag doll. He dropped like a stone king. How many cliches can you and I use? He dropped him like a bad habit. Back in the ring now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Displaying a wide range of offense here. A quick reversal by Buddy Roberts. Adding insult to potential injury there. Oh, the reversal! Ooh. And the strike connects. Just a little showboating from Kerry by Eric. Right on the kidneys! Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. He saw that one coming.
Well, Kevin and Kerry Von Erich are certainly an accomplished tag team. You would have to think that both could make a case for being in line for a world. Oh, my! There's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. Keep in mind that the Freebirds are not only the current six-man tag team champions, but they are also the first ever trio to hold the titles, having won the titles for the first time in December 1982. Yeah, and if you remember, what makes it even more interesting is who actually stood in for Buddy Roberts during that title victory. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. The Freebird is really dishing out the punishment to Kevin Von Erich. King, what do you make of the systematic dismantling? Well, the Freebirds did say that they were looking to take the Von Erichs on a long drive down Pat Street, USA. And it looks like they're doing exactly that. And again, the mind games are played. There's so many years of pure hatred between these men, King, and I can't help but wonder if at some point they'll end up taking things too far and permanently injuring someone. You know what? Tonight might be that night, Cole. I mean, the animosity these two teams share for each other appears to be at an all-time high right now. Oh, a hard no mistake there. What a display of unmitigated strength. The ring mat's in pain after that one. Yeah, you're right. I think that hurt the ring and him. He wants back in this match in the worst way. The Freebird is really dishing out the punishment to Kevin Von Erich. King, what do you make of this systematic dismantling? Well, the Freebirds did say that they were looking to take the Von Erichs on a long drive down Pad Street, USA. And it looks like they're doing exactly that. The mix of trash talking, underhanded tactics, and pure charisma make the Freebirds such a difficult team to contend against, King. Yeah, and it looks like Kevin Von Erich is experiencing that firsthand here tonight, Cole. I mean, he's really going to have to dig down deep if he wants to survive this one. Kevin Von Erich turns it around. Nice reversal. Whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. What a counter! Buddy Robert. I'll tell you, this has been an incredible matchup. These bitter rivals, and now chaos is broken out between the Freebirds and the Von Erichs. Oh, look at this, Buddy Roberts. Oh, my gosh, he's slugging in a figure four on Kevin Von Erich. And Kerry and Michael Hayes and... This is completely out of oh. control with a big discus punch. All this taking place after the... Uh, they may have won the battle, but not the war. The Freebirds in retreat. 